Mr. Hee Ha. Oh my god. Hi guys. So I am 25 weeks and 4 days today. This week the baby is the size of a large cucumber. So that's interesting. This week the baby is almost 14 inches from head to toe and just about a pound and a half so getting super big and it didn't occur to me until like three days ago that I'm almost in the third trimester it's no secret that this pregnancy has just been like flying by and I know a lot of you guys have been saying this as well but for me it's definitely been the fastest pregnancy that I've ever had probably just because I'm so busy with like a million kids running around all the time I just can't believe that I'm already gonna be in the third trimester it's just been flying by so the baby is definitely starting to get crammed inside of my belly it's starting to get those movements where they're not quite painful and I know that they're gonna get to that point because they always do so the movement isn't quite painful yet but they're getting really big the baby will like roll now like completely roll my whole stomach will be like this and it'll be like flopping around baby's definitely been super active however I was going back and I was watching my old videos from Landon and the twins and Lilia I try to go back when I can and like watch those pregnancy videos to just kind of like compare and see like what I don't know what this pregnancy is like compared to the other pregnancies and I noticed that this baby isn't quite as active as for sure Landon and the twins it's hard to say because there was two babies in there but Landon I was watching one of my like fetal movement videos from 24 weeks and he was moving around so much more than this baby is I didn't realize that he was already moving around like that dramatically at this point and this baby is kind of just now starting to do the really dramatic movements but even still I feel like it moves constantly but it's very gentle like gentle little flutters little kicks I feel like he or she moves their arms her he ha oh my god I need to like stick to a his or her in the beginning of the video and just refer to that people keep thinking that I'm saying his or her and I'm trying to be very careful to not accidentally say his or accidentally say her but it's so hard to refer to your baby as a it constantly <laughs> a lot of people keep thinking that I'm saying his or her but I'm not I'm making sure that I you just say it or like there I guess once you're this far along in pregnancy most people know what they're having and so they can refer to it as a he or a she and I just feel kind of awkward calling my baby a it I need to make a little name for it what's like a little nickname for this baby maybe I'll just call it baby but I'll just say baby I just like completely went off topic I don't even know what I was saying anymore I think I was talking about movement but <laughs> this baby is just he or she moves a lot but it doesn't move as dramatically like big movements and like punches at least yet I know that it's going to so far the baby doesn't have like super fierce movements like Landon did and I'm pretty sure the twins did also and I cannot remember Lilia but I do know that I had a hiccuping video with her and when this with this baby hiccups I I can't see it as clearly so I don't know I just noticed that although this baby is moving constantly the movements aren't as big they're more like petite like little like pokes and like I think maybe the hands are moving a lot maybe it's the position of the placenta because I do know that my placenta is anterior this pregnancy I only know that because it said it on my ultrasound paper that I got from my last ultrasound my placenta is anterior on the left and I always feel the movement all on my right so that makes a lot of sense anyway moving on this lighting is whack I'm so sorry it is like getting super bright and then getting like really dark so I don't know what's up with that I apologize so other than that moving on symptoms this week I my number one symptom is that my boobs are getting so big and Chris has noticed I've noticed like when I take off my bra my boobs feel so heavy and I'm just like where did these come from and I'm having flashbacks of like full engorged breasts and I'm realizing that that's gonna be my reality in a very short amount of time <laughs> my problem with having a bunch of children in a very short amount of time is that my boobs have never been just one size um, and I, like proportionally they're always about the same unless it's like one just a kid just nursed off of one side but like overall I have bras ranging from a B to a double D sitting in my drawer and I refuse to get rid of any of them because of all the different stages that I go through I'm constantly having to change I'm sorry if this is TMI but I am wearing a full C right now like they've completely filled 
the C cup right now, so I'm thinking I might have to move up to the D again, and then I'm sure when my milk comes in, that I think with the twins I was measured to be an E when my milk came in with the twins so but normally I think I'm like a double D when my milk first comes in and then I kind of level out to like a D but like pregnancy is a C for me and then whenever I'm done breastfeeding I go back to my B because I was like a B cup before any of the pregnancies and now when I was done breastfeeding Landon my boobs like went back to the same size but they never actually bounced back to the way that they looked they're just kind of sad so anyway my point with that is that I can feel my boobs getting bigger towards the end of this pregnancy and they're getting like fuller and I just wish they would like stay this size the rest of my life they're nice and full like a full C that would be nice but I know that it's not gonna stay this way the baby has been hiccuping constantly I'm not constantly I'm exaggerating probably at least once a day or every other day I feel the baby hiccup and it's just the sweetest thing in the world and it's always in the same spot I can feel I'm guessing that that's where like its chest is because I'd probably be feeling the hiccups like I don't know in the shoulders or something maybe but I always feel it in my lower right area and I do know and I don't know if I mentioned this but I do know that the baby was head down at my last midwife appointment but of course they flip around constantly at this stage and I guess well pretty soon I guess I'm gonna be in the third trimester so pretty soon it's gonna be kind of stuck where um, it wants to stay and hopefully that's head down but I will find out most likely at my next midwife appointment which is next Friday so I don't know if I'm gonna wait until next Friday to do my 26 week update it would be kind of late um, but I don't know we'll fi we'll figure it out then super exciting thing this week is that I scheduled my last final ultrasound at least my last planned ultrasound I always like to get an ultrasound around 29 or 30 weeks to get like a cute chunky baby picture face looking thing I have all of the little chunky pictures with all of my kids and I am just super stoked about that because when I look back at all of my ultrasounds that I've had with all my kids looking at them now and looking at the ultrasound from around 29 weeks they look exactly the same like not I mean not obviously not exactly but you can tell what they look like you can see the shape of the nose the shape of the ears the shape of the chin like Kaden is so Kaden you can see his little overbite and it's just the cutest thing ever so I'm so excited I don't know why I'm like so excited probably because it's my last one like this might be my last ultrasound guys this might be my last and now I'm gonna cry so I'm just really looking forward to that and that is scheduled for September 1st I will be 29 weeks and five days it should be the perfect time frame for it to not be too squished but you can still get like a chunky face picture and obviously it's not gonna be super chunky but I mean what I mean by that is like the baby's filled out now compared to at 20 weeks you could see the baby and you could see all of its features which I was actually really surprised about but this time the baby's gonna be more filled out and have more of the features that you're gonna see at birth so I am really stoked about that so that is September 1st I think it's a Thursday so I guess I'll be 29 weeks and four days I don't know something like that I still have a while before that but yeah that is scheduled and I'm just looking forward to that symptom wise that's pretty much it this week the only other thing that happened this week that was cracking me up this is something that I've noticed over the last at least since I've been noticeably noticeably pregnant people obviously strangers I mean it's completely normal for them to ask you like what do you do what are you having obviously when they ask me the question do you know what you're having whenever I tell them that we're not finding out the gender I get a lot of weird responses. <laughs> if they're like older, if it's like an older lady, they'll be like, oh yeah, we never knew back in our day and I'll get those kind of comments. But if I get the younger ones, they'll be like, really? Like, haven't you had an ultrasound? Why don't you know what you're having? Oh, did your baby have its feet crossed? And I have to explain to them, no, like we're willingly not finding out what we're having. And I don't know, is it really that taboo? Is it really that weird to not find out what you're having? Because, especially this last week, and this is why I thought to talk about this, but I went to the doctor for my asthma to get a refill on my inhaler. That's an important, I don't know why I had to describe that. But anyway, the doctor asked how far along I was. You know, they have to ask all those questions to make sure that you're okay to take certain medications and whatever she asked how far along I was what pregnancy this was how many kids I had all that jazz I told her I was 25 weeks and she was like oh what are you having and I'm like oh we're not gonna find out and she looked at me like what and I was like no we don't want to find out we want to wait until birth we want it to be a surprise because it's our last one and she was like haven't you had any ultrasounds and I'm like yeah we've had a lot of ultrasounds but we're choosing to not find out like they could see it I'm sure but we didn't we don't want to find out so we told them not to tell us and she just like couldn't wrap her head around the fact that somebody would choose to do that it was the strangest thing ever I've never actually gotten a response that 
like confused before and she was a doctor so I don't know that was kind of weird but I just think it's so funny when we tell people that we don't know what we're having and that we're like not wanting to find out what we're having some people are just like oh my gosh like how could you do that I, I don't know I just think it's so funny so anyway I think that is pretty much it for this week I am planning on doing that old wives tale video I have not forgotten about that I just wanted to get a few other things done and I wanted to grow a little bit because people say like the size and the shape of your belly can tell you whether you're having a boy or a girl so in this video when I show you my belly I want you to tell me am I carrying high am I carrying low am I carrying round am I carrying what is it like a basketball or a watermelon let me know what you guys think because looking in the mirror myself it's hard to like tell I guess so I want to know what you guys think so I can add that into the old wives tales gender video so definitely let me know what you guys think and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 25 week belly all right so here is with the shirt on and here is with the shirt up. All right, oh my goodness, I've grown a lot. <laughs> so it looks like I'm measuring at about 40, yeah, just about 40 inches now. That is it for this week's video, guys. Like I said, let me know. What do you think the shape of my belly is? Tell me in the comments below, and I will try to post like on Instagram or Facebook a comparison between like the twins, Lilia, Landon, and now to see if there's like a difference, and you guys can tell me what you think the shape of my belly is, and I will add that into the Old Wives Tale video. So that is it for this week, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I will talk to you guys. Well, I'm doing beta, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, but I'll talk to you guys for my next pregnancy update next week for week 20. Six. Bye. So this was actually Gabe's idea. Do <laughs> you still look cute? Yeah. <laughs>